Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. <clears throat> Today, we're doing another bluish teal ink from Lamy. Lamy Crystal Amazonite. Thanks go out to pen friend Liz for providing the sample for this review. I was like, this isn't from Gary Cathy. I know it's not because it's got the sample. All right. So, sample came like this. Thank you so much, pen friend Liz, for providing the sample for this review. Today we'll be using our serendipity with the Yovo Brad nib. Here is our ink comparison panel. And it has some really nice subtle shading going on. <clears throat> Here is our inks our ink swatch and the water resistance test shows that I might consider using this on the outside of an envelope. Look at that beautiful bit that laid down and just stayed there. That's pretty good. Here is our ink splotch. I kind of made a couple little swooshes with my brush because it was kind of boring so and then here's our toilet paper chromatography and I saw that it had like a dark bit here and then a lighter blue and then right along the edge there's like a sky a light sky blue and so I did another little test I, I put a drop in the middle of the uh, of the toilet paper and it radiated out and I don't know if you guys can see this here or not but in the middle it's nearly black and then there's like a gray right along the outside of that and then on the outside of that there's like a greenish color and then a blue on the outside of that and then sky blue on the outside of that so this has a multitude of colors that's a really cool idea <coughs> DC Associates Incorporated. DC Associates Incorporated. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> Spam. Okay, let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. It did feather a little bit, and it did go through just a little bit. I might, I might not use the back side of this paper. 
super lightweight. Traveler's notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding. No ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. This is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding. No ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. H um. 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. No bleeding. No ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Moleskin. 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken. Bled right through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. Ayush 100 GSM paper, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Rhodia dot pad, 80 GSM, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of ghosting. I might use the back side of this paper. The jot journal from the Dollar Tree. Little bit of feathering. No bleeding, no gusting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Little bit of feathering. Bleeding and ghosting, I would not use the back side of this paper. <coughs> Nemesine, 80 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Barely any ghosting. I might use the back side of this paper. Oxford Optic Notebook Paper. N no feathering. Really nice shading there. No bleeding, no ghosting, barely any ghosting. I might still use the back side of this paper. Blair Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Unison composition book. From Target for 50 cents. Speaking of which, I'm going to need to buy some more of these. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. I do want to look here and see. Oh, there is just the teeny tiny bittiest of, she of sheen. So if you do lay it down really hard, you might get some sheen. True Red Composition Book from staples.com feathered just a little bit and it only ghosted a little bit through the page I might use the back side of this paper Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM feathered like a chicken Ghosted a little bit through the page. I might use the back side of this paper. The Nanami Seven Seas 68 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. No sheening this time. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. You style. 
notebook paper. Feather just a little bit. And it did go through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering. Nice sheen. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Oxford notebook paper. A little bit of teeny tiny bit of sheen. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Mead, wide rolled notebook paper. Feathered just a little bit and bled through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. Five star notebook paper from Mead. Feathered like a chicken. Ghosted through the page. I might not use the back side of this paper. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Feathered like a chicken. No blading, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. This is JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from John Neal Books dot com. No feathering. Tiny bits of ghosting. I might still use the back side of this paper. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. Little bit of feathering. Bleeding and ghosting. I might not use the back side of this paper. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. This is going to lean into the teal family again. Not quite a light blue, but not quite a teal either. Like a real teal. So, I do want to kind of look over some <clears throat> bluish green inks to see if any of these match. Give me a second. See, there's Monteverdi teal. This, this is way bluer than this. There's um, Le Bon Haran. No. This is Diamond Delamere Green. You can see the. It's definitely not a, a green. Okay, let's look at some teals. This is Lamy Tourmaline. So this is still leaning a little bit more green than this Crystal Amazonite. Let's see, this is Diamine Aurora Borealis. Organic Studio Alanine, Diamond Helen, Diamond Soft Mint, Private Reserve, tur Turquoise Silver, Monteverdi Iced Cookie, Diamond Christine, Diamond Teal, Papier Bloom, Coraline In My Mind, Pembibius 385. These are kind of similar. Jabon, Emerald de, Ch Emerald de Chavour. Ferris Wheel Press, Bluegrass Velvet. Diamond Yuletide. These are kind of, this is darker but similar. Lamy Crystal. Oh, this is the same one. 
Robert Oster, Sydney, Darling Harbor. This leans more green. Laban, hurrah, dark green. Diamond Garland is more green. Diamond Black Ivy. Robert Oster, Pacific Ocean Teal. Sailor, 50 States, California. Private Reserve, Blue Suede. These are very similar. Color versus Gravity Wave. Okay, let's look at some light blues just to take off all the boxes. This is Malta Verde Caribbean Blue. Birmingham Cerulean. Levenger Blue Bahama. Diamond Steel Blue. Carcos Turquoise. Diamond Sub Zero. Institute Jade Vine. Birmingham Damselfly. Diamond Odenil. Kyono Oto Hizoku. Noodler's Blue Nose Bear. Pinonia Hoopikek. Twisby Sky Blue. Pinbibius 386. Stipula Light Blue. Diamond Aqua Lagoon. Krishna Light Blue. Jayabam Blue Prevench. Birmingham Monongahela. Hello, Carlos. How are you doing today? Hi, Andy B. How are you? Colors are super pretty. Yes. Feather like a chicken. That's right. All right. I want to show you what it looked like in my bullet journal today. This is what it looks like when you write with a broad nib. I'm doing good, thank you. I was wondering what was going on. My streaming software isn't showing the chat. That's very strange. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to update Streamlabs. Who knows? Andy B, are you still doing your show on Friday and Saturday? I've been meaning to come. I've just been really busy lately. But I think about you every week. Which are you using? Which, 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 what am I using? Did you show the chromatography? Yes. This is the toilet paper chromatography. I made an eyeball. <laughs> I dropped a, a drop of the ink in the middle of the toilet paper and then I put drops on top of it to make it spread out and it definitely has a gray aspect to it which is very interesting. I was like, where is the thing? And the um, water resistance test shows that it does have some permanency under there. So I might use this on the outside of an envelope. Okay, what did I do with the... Uh, this is a really pretty tealy blue ink. More blue than teal. But who knows. Yeah, still streaming. Thank you for sending good vibes. Oh, you're welcome. We think I think about you every week when I do my bujo. There you are. And there you are. This week's theme is Namaste, now fuck off. <laughs> I thought that was pretty, pretty funny, pretty funny indeed. Why won't it sh let me show this? Oh, stupid. Anyway, 
Yeah, you're famous. <laughs> I'm not even like... I'm just a little drip in a pool. Anyway, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back in about five minutes with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you, bye.